Welcome to Sherry Week 2022, Episode 2. Hey, glad you're here to see the best of everyone's favorite coin shop owner, Sherry. And yeah, this week is all about Sherry. I'll be bringing you some of the best that we've ever done. And today is a fun video because it's our very first video uh, over at the Collector's Gallery. I'll tell you what, this video almost didn't happen. Uh, my buddy George and I were rushing over there and we were late. We uh, had wrong directions and we got goofed up and it was the middle of the winter and it got dark and she was closing up and we barely made it by the skin of our teeth, just as the last customers were getting ready to leave the shop. and uh, But we made it, and Sherry was uh, kind enough to grant me an interview. The funny thing is, when I described what we would be doing over the phone, uh, she assumed I was just going to be shooting video in her shop, and that was it. And then when I got there, I explained, no, uh, I'd like you to come on camera. And she was uh, totally caught by surprise. And But either way, she was a good sport. You'll notice... Uh, in the video that it's a little bit raw. There were some mistakes. Uh, I even said the collector's gallery and I named the wrong town. And you'll see when you watch the video. But this is it. Hey, this is our first one together. Uh, I'm not going to show you the whole thing. Uh, just a little snippet from the video. It was filmed on January 21st, 2022. So even though it wasn't that long ago, it seems like a lot has happened in the world of silver stacking. And uh, you'll notice that by watching this video. And so before I roll the video, don't forget, uh, this baby right here will be up for grabs uh, by the end of this week. And this is a qualifier video. So I'll discuss the contest rules at the very end of this video. For now, sit back, relax, and enjoy. <laughs> T. Hello, Silver fans. This is T, and you're in the place to be for silver education, acquisition, and entertainment. And hey, the place to be is Collector's Gallery in Oak Forest, Illinois. I made it just in time before closing. The owner, Sherry, was nice enough to grant me an interview, and this is what ensued. Enjoy. <laughs> Hi, Sherry. Hey, uh, Hi. how are you? Thank you so much for allowing me to come into your shop and uh, video this evening. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. And uh, you are Collector's Gallery here in Tinley Park. Oak Forest. Oak Forest. Oh, boy. <laughs> we moved from Tinley. I'm glad we got that right yes. uh, and straightened out, uh, you know, first thing. Oak Forest, Illinois. Uh, tell me a little bit about the shop. Uh, I am a full-service coin dealer for modern U.S. coins and foreign coins and old stuff. Um, vintage coins is my specialty. Okay. I deal in paper money as well as gold and silver bullion, mm -hmm. um, sterling silver, jewelry, flatware services, old pocket and wristwatches. Um, we used to be big into collectibles. Unfortunately, that market has just kind of fallen away, so we're not really doing much of that anymore. Sounds like you do a lot. Yeah, we How do. long have you been do. at it? Um, I've been doing this personally 35 years. Wow. Yeah. So you've seen a lot over that uh, period I of time. Have, I have, yes, uh, yes. You were around for the big spike in 2011. I was. What was, was the shop like around then? We were busy all the time. I had four <laughs> people working for me constantly. We were just rocking and rolling seven days a week. Could never get a break. So it was busy, busy, busy. I brought my uh, buddy George with me uh, this Hi, evening. And we were having a conversation uh, that you can help us with. Okay. Uh, the idea is... Uh, you know, it, when silver goes back up to 50, if and when that mm -hmm. happens, a lot of us believe that it will happen. Mm -hmm. I personally believe it's going to be back up there. Uh, I don't know if you feel like sharing your thoughts on that. I, I believe silver is going to go up. I don't know if it's going to hit the 50 mark. Not mm -hmm. in my lifetime, I don't think. But okay. who knows? Anything can happen. So at that point, or even back to 2011, mm -hmm. Does it matter uh, what silver you have in your possession, uh, or is just silver is silver, and you're gonna, you know, if I wanted to cash in my silver to you, would the, a generic round go when for the, the same price? When the price spike in the, in the market happened in 2011, mm -hmm. um, whether it was gold or silver, or no matter what, it was 
no matter what form it was in, it was all valuable at that point in time. It did not matter. But if you paid premiums on a lot of that stuff, you lost the premium that you might have paid. Ah. But because of the hike in silver, you made up for it that way. I see. So if you're in the market now and you're buying a lot of gold and silver bullion or platinum, palladium, rhodium, no matter what it is, try and purchase items that have the least amount of premium that you can get. Okay. Unfortunately, in this market now, everything has a premium on it, no matter what it is. Yeah, so it's you been can't, crazy. you cannot get away from anything with premiums. So it really has been crazy lately. Um, speaking of premium, uh, what what's your price on uh, generics today? Generics. Uh, generic one ounce rounds and bars are five dollars over spot. Okay. That's my usual standard number. If you're uh -huh. looking for a large quantity, I can do a little bit better. Okay. Um, I'm going to have the 2020 Silver American Eagles in next week. Okay. 2022, I'm sorry. Oh, 2022 okay. Silver American Eagles coming in next week. Mm -hmm. um, the premium in those um, is going to be around $10 over. Yeah, they're going to be yeah. highly sought after. Everybody right. wants the new year. Yeah, the U.S. Mint charges a big premium on that stuff. They're again talking about the premium. So. Yeah, well, five dollars over spot seems to be about the lowest I found anywhere. Yeah, I'm talking throughout the state of Indiana, here in Illinois. Yeah, uh, that seems to be the standard, mm -hmm. and you're, you're, uh, very competitive. Very there. competitive there. Yes. Uh, how about uh, junk? Uh, junk silver. Mm -hmm. The premiums are fairly high on junk silver right now, and in my opinion, junk silver is a much much better buy mm -hmm. than eagles. Um, silver maple leaves, Gregoria, any of that kind of stuff because you're paying such a premium on that stuff. Right. 90% um, is what I steer a lot of my customers towards when okay. they're looking for something the closest to the market that they can get. Mm -hmm. And that seems to work. Okay. Uh, I've got some viewer questions for sure. you. Uh, do you have any one ounce uh, 1998 or 1999? Libertads. Do you have any Libertads at all? I have no Libertads at all. <laughs> no, unfortunately. For whatever the reason, that seems to be a popular coin. That and anything. Um, Mexican coins, any uh -huh. type of Mexican silver, Mexican gold. Yeah. Don't ask me what the issue is, but yeah. everybody wants it. I can't keep any. If I buy one piece, it's gone that same day. So I've noticed for whatever it is a relatively recent phenomenon. Yeah. I, I used to be able to pick up Libra around yeah. the same All amount the time. of time yeah. as, as you know eagles, and now they're through no. the roof. Yeah, can't I can't find them. I, I cannot see. I can't say the last time somebody sold me any of that. So. Wow. Well, sorry, John Morgan, my viewer. Uh, <laughs> Nick, hey, how'd you like that one? That was really a trip down memory lane for me. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, the contest rules are pretty simple. All you have to do is be a subscriber, uh, like today's video, uh, share it, and uh, then come back and comment and tell me where you shared it, uh, whether it is Twitter or Facebook or Instagram, or with your spouse, or with a friend who is just now getting into stacking. I've heard a lot of that uh, lately from different people, and it's a real honor to know that I am a small part of uh, someone's silver stacking journey when someone receives one of my videos and uh, gets into it and watches more and more and learns and falls in love with the hobby and lifestyle uh, just like yours truly. So anyway, if you'd like to see the rest of the video, that you just saw a little snippet from, all you have to do is click right here. I've got it uh, queued up. All you have to do is click on through and watch that video. For now, thanks for watching, everybody. Good luck in the giveaway. And that's all for episode two. Be sure to come back and watch episode three. Two.